What are the key features of democracy? Democracy is the most successful political idea in the world. Democracy allows ordinary people a decisive say in who governs a country and how they govern it. It is based on a system of government by all citizens of a country, typically exercised through elected representatives. The concept of democracy is broad and diverse. Every country has a unique democratic system and countries will therefore be differently democratic. Democracy has many features. What then are the key features of democracy? Although there are other aspects to democracy, we will look at six key features. They are 1. Respect for basic human rights. 2. A multi-party political system paired with political tolerance. 3. A democratic voting system. 4. Respect for the rule of law. 5. Democratic governance. And 6. Citizen participation. Let's look at each of the key features mentioned above. Firstly, one of the most important features of democracy is the respect for some basic human rights. Most democracies have a constitution that outlines the human rights of each individual. They usually include basic rights that secure democracy, including the right to vote, freedom of speech and assembly, freedom of religion, and the right to equality. The second key feature is a multi-party political system paired with a tolerance for different political views. A multi-party system, or at least a two-party system, is an important component of any democracy. The presence of multiple strong political parties contesting elections ensures a choice for voters and the representation of diverse and competing views and interests in Parliament. In a democracy, Active opposition parties monitor and debate the work done by the ruling party or ruling parties in the case of a party coalition. This can increase the ruling party's accountability to the electorate. Multi-party systems require political tolerance in word and actions by all individuals, including political representatives. Political tolerance means accepting and respecting the views of individuals and groups whose viewpoints differ from one's own. People should be able to express their opinions and views freely as long as they do not interfere with someone else's rights. Democracy entails both the right to differ as well as the acceptance of these differences by others. Democracy implies respect for different views and the use of dialogue as a means to resolve conflict. The third key feature is a democratic voting system. In a representative democracy, we elect representatives to pass legislation and govern the country instead of having one person making all the decisions. This happens through regular elections in line with the country's constitution. Democratic voting systems are characterized by the following. 1. There is universal suffrage, which means that all the adult citizens have an equal right to vote in a country's elections. 2. Elections are held at regular known intervals. 3. Elections are free and fair. 4. And finally, we apply majority rule, which means that the political party or party coalition with the most votes gets to govern. Key feature number 4 is respect for the rule of law. The rule of law refers to the principle that public officials can only exercise power and make decisions if authorised to do so by law. They are not allowed to act arbitrarily or with an ulterior purpose. They must act in terms of laws that are clear, publicised, stable and are evenly applied. The process by which laws are enacted, administered and enforced must be transparent, fair and efficient. It also means that all decisions need to be made in accordance with the law. In short, nobody is exempt from or above the law. Public officials cannot act arbitrarily and without being allowed to act by law. Why? Because under the system, citizens are protected from the arbitrary exercise of power. Independent courts uphold the rule of law. Only independent courts can find people guilty of committing a crime. Courts can also declare invalid the actions of public officials that are not authorised by law. A society in which the rule of law is not protected would be unpredictable and the human rights of its citizens would not be guaranteed. The correct application of the rule of law enables citizens to enjoy the benefits of democracy. The fifth key feature of democracy is democratic governance. 
This concerns the way in which a democratic government is organized and functions. What happens between elections is very important for a vibrant democracy. Democratic government is characterized by the separation of powers. State power is divided into three branches, the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary. Each branch checks the power of the other two so that there is a balance of power between them. The legislature is responsible for passing laws while the executive is responsible for the administration and implementation of the law and other policies. Together with this goes the independence of the judiciary in the interpretation and enforcement of law. This system of checks and balances is designed to prevent the abuse of power. Democratic governance should also be guided by the principles and practices of transparency, responsiveness, effectiveness and efficiency as prerequisites for accountability to the electorate. The last feature of a successful democracy that we would like to talk about is citizen participation. The democratic system aims to empower the individual. Democracy offers ordinary people, like you and me, the opportunity to participate freely in social and political life and to contribute to shaping our society and country's future. Successful democracies need active citizens, so it is about our role in and possible contribution to democracy. In practical terms, it means that you can and should take part in elections by voting or even joining a political party. Active citizens also monitor the government's performance and mobilize other ordinary people on issues of importance. All of us can help to shape a successful democracy. When these six main features are present, it indicates a strong democracy. Through the application and upholding of these features, well-functioning democracies are likely to provide the following fruits of democracy or characteristics of society. Respect for human dignity. Freedom equality, justice, good governance, peace and the opportunity to hold elected representatives accountable. South Africa is one of the youngest democracies in the world. Our constitution provides the framework for how democracy works in South Africa. And don't forget, democracy is about far more than voting in elections. Successful democracies rely on active citizens that protect and support democratic values. That also means you.